Of the various kinds of issues that are current at, the, at this time, what do you think are the ones to watch in terms of, say, how our, our collective future is going to be in the next four or five years? Well, I mean, generally speaking, I, I think almost everything that happens is a distraction. I mean, it, this distracts from that, <laughs> I mean, that distracts from this, and so I think just kind of generally speaking. But what, I don't know, I, you know, I don't, the future that I see, and this is, is the state's going to assume in the next few years. The state will assume more uh, police power, authority. The economic situation will become intense for a larger percentage of people. And this, just this, the very existence of this, this thing between this, the state getting more authority, police authority, and the economic situation becoming uh, uh, more desperate for people, a larger seg amount of people, then these two things are going to produce <laughs> their own dynamic. So I just personally think that it's just like, you know, the society is stepping off into the futuristic police state. And I think that the citizens or the people or who, however people identify, that, that they should really consider that, <laughs> that possibility uh, and, and do what they coherently think is the best about it. But it's coming, it is. It's just, you know, the, the, the things are too... Because, I mean, you know, like Schwarzenegger and him, if Californians voted him in, then they deserve him. This says a lot to what the public is. I mean, you know, I mean, what people, people's sense of how they feel, their powerlessness or their emotionalism or whatever it is. See, I mean, but, but if they allow this to happen, then they deserve him. And he's already warned the Indians. He's gonna, he's gonna, he wants to take us on. But then, other than that, with him, na Nazi drippings. Yeah, <laughs> you know? whoa. Because it is because yeah. it, his father was a Nazi. You know, and, and and the other thing I find that's interesting about that. I just saw it in news today that Prescott Bush, George Bush's grandfather, had one of his financial instit institutions seized and shut down by the federal government because he was working with the enemy, the Nazis. These are uh, Nazi drippings. <laughs> right. And in a way, that's what it's really all about. I think the Nazi drippings are just kind of happening now into the ingredient. <laughs> right into the ingredient of the thousand year right, the Nazi drippings are now happening in this society. All right, to just kind of get more control over people. And I think, and I think that, that that's where it's headed. Uh, the manipulation of economics, uh, just, just the reality that, see, the people really have no say and they know it. They can complain and they can do whatever, but they, re they don't really have any say. And the state knows that. They know this. They know they can get away with what they want. They control almost all the acts. So, so, so in that sense, things are pretty bleak, I think, for, the, for, for any idealistic or practical concepts of free or freedom, whatever, you know. You know, that, this individuality and all of these rights to private, all of these things. See, I just think that those who now, the, the state, has control of all of those things. And when we look at the state itself at the national level, it is controlled by the religious right right-wing extremist, all right? And so, so extremism seems to be at the helm. And the way it's unfolding in this country, it does not, there does not seem to be anything in the near immediate fu foreseeable future that can deal with it, that can even begin to effectively deal with it. All there is ahead is just to react to it and complain against it. I mean, that's not gonna stop it. So, so I think that turmoil, <laughs> I think hard times are coming. And, and, but those hard times may not be obvious to every segment of the society just to the segments of the society that are going to experience it at this time. I appeared before the Congressional Committee, the highest representation of the American people under the subpoena to tell what I knew of activities, which I believe might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. The plan as outlined to me was to form an organization of veterans, to use as a bluff or as a club at least, to intimidate the government and break down our democratic institutions. The upshot of the whole thing was that I was supposed to lead an organization of 500,000 men which would be able to take over the functions of government. My main interest in all this is to preserve our democratic institutions. I want to retain the right to vote, and the right to speak freely, and the right to write. If we maintain these basic principles, our democracy is safe. No dictatorship. 
can exist the suffrage freedom of speech and press. I think people need to take more responsibility for, for how they participate in what's going on. That's, that's the only self-defense I can think of.